In this video, we're going to take a look at the design creation, sort of the process of creating a custom patch. In this case, it's the patch for the 2A rally that happened on November 2nd, 2019 in Washington, D.C. So back in October, as we were getting ready for the rally, uh, we wanted to uh, get something like a patch, obviously, and they didn't have anything. This rally was an effort to let people practice the um, is it the art the skill of assembly uh, so it wasn't run by any organization it wasn't uh, funded or uh, there was no merchandise basically uh, but they were also not worried about people using the logo in fact they encouraged it so my goal wasn't to sell these or anything uh, but I did want to get a patch made for myself and for the gun channels people that were going to be attending and for some of those who were friends that were either integral or you know, part participants in the rally and uh, you know, knowing how long it takes and the ability of the machine and the time we had available, uh, we were able to make, I think about 10 or a do dozen or 10 of these. Uh, so came up with the design. Uh, you do that by pulling the image into this embroidery software and then you lay down the various stitches similar to uh, laying down colors in, a, in an art program. And once it's all set up, uh, you lay down the colors, you set them up in a certain order, and you take them over to an embroidery machine. Now our machine is getting pretty old, um, well over a million stitches at this point, and it's uh, getting a little haggard. You can tell it kind of throws the stitches, it kind of goes off a little bit here and there. And you can tell during the process here, it binds up, it snags, it throws threads and stuff quite a bit, it breaks needles even. So um, we're getting to the point where it's either time to swap the machine out with another since we've got so much experience with it or perhaps upgrade to a, a multicolored machine. So you can see with the way we do it with a single color, basically a home model type of machine, uh, we lay out all the designs so that we do the colors efficiently. So that means in this case, doing the red first, then the blue, then the white, so we can get some nice, crisp, white stuff, patterns and letters and stuff on the blue. But that also means we have to lay down that red border first. And I think that has something to do with why the end products are a little bit wavy, but they're supposed to be a flag, so it's, it wasn't the perfect job, but we're also not selling these. Uh, we made about 10 or 12. We sent these out to the people from Gun Channels that were, we knew were going, and some that weren't able to attend. Again, some of the people that uh, are friends that were part of the rally, uh, when they were all sewed up, uh, we finish them off. It takes another little while to finish the edges up and then to finally sew them to Velcro. Thanks to Alan Anchor for providing us with this orange Velcro. We're still using that. We put the orange Velcro on the back of these patches. And then we sent them off to any, everyone in time so that they could have them before they traveled to the rally. We want to thank our Patreons for giving us the time to do that. We want to thank the community for uh, their efforts with the rally. Let us know in the comments what you think about the patches, about the rally, about this kind of video. And as always, thanks for watching. The guys and gals of gunwebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching gunwebsites.com.